everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing great this evening it's my second post for the day but uh the reason i'm making a second update is because of an update from the world meteorological organization as i promised in previous videos i would let you guys know what's happening in terms of any retired names from last year and so that information is now out so last hurricane season for the atlantic basin this is a look at the track of all the systems and we can see that many of them, the majority, remained offshore, including the strongest Hurricane Lee at peak intensity. Lee was a Cat 5, and it did not affect anyone at its uh, at that intensity. And there were a few systems, such as Idalia, Franklin, uh, and even Brett early in the season, which did some damage here and there. Uh, but no names were retired from the Atlantic list. So the list of names from last hurricane season will be reused with all the names for the 2029 hurricane season. So the lists rotate every six years. So unless a name was retired and replaced with another of the same gender, uh, then the names are going to be repeated within six years, which from 2023, that is 2029. And with that said, the 2023 season is the first in nine years, almost a decade, with no names being retired. So 2015 onwards back to 2022, there were very devastating tropical cyclones, which met retirement criteria as per the World Meteorological Organization. So it's the first time in nine years that uh, no names are retired from the Atlantic. However, the Pacific definitely produced some devastating cyclones the most devastating without a doubt was otis otis is uh the second fastest intensifying hurricane in recent history so it intensified uh quickly reaching category five hurricane status within 24 hours it uh intensified by 115 miles per hour so very warm surface waters really helped to fuel the hurricane and it was struggling for a bit and initial forecasts did not call for a strong system to make landfall and yeah, maybe a tropical storm or so but the system did tenfold it was a category 5 hurricane at peak and is currently the strongest landfalling hurricane in mexican history so otis did a number and it resulted in uh, 52 at least 52 deaths and several injuries as well so that is very very unfortunate so otis was retired and replaced with otilio so that's the name you're seeing i hope i'm getting that uh, that pronunciation correct but otis was retired and there's a second as well now this is not your traditional hurricane that will uh, move on shore and produce devastating winds storm surge heavy rain uh, that's caused flooding landslides mudslides you name it this isn't a dr uh, the traditional impacts from this hurricane which was dora dora did a number but not in a direct way because what it stayed south of uh, the hawaiian islands over in the pacific it passed south of the island so why is dora getting retired well, let's take a look at this right here. So tropical cyclones are low pressure systems that rotate in a counterclockwise fashion in the northern hemisphere. Now there is the opposite of that, which is a high pressure system to the north of Hurricane Dora. Now these are contrasting pressure systems. We've got an area of high pressure or an anti-cyclone interacting with a tropical cyclone, a low pressure system. And Dora, by the way, it was really an explorer because it traversed the entire Pacific basin and it was a category four hurricane at peak intensity. So the interaction of those pressure systems resulted in stronger winds for the Hawaiian islands. And there were already very dry conditions in Hawaii. So what happened? Those very strong winds because of Dora passing to the south and interacting with the area of high pressure further up north resulted in wildfires. The wildfires were unprecedented. They took over a hundred lives. Very unfortunate situation, especially in Lahaina, Maui. So over a hundred people were killed and more than 2,000 buildings were damaged or destroyed. And what happened is uh, currently ranked as the deadliest natural disaster in Hawaiian 
history. As I said, Dora did not do the traditional damage one would expect from a tropical cyclone, but it still wreaked havoc in that it resulted in those very strong wind gusts, winds uh, reaching hurricane force, and that helped to induce wildfires, which caused absolute devastation. So that is why Dora is being retired, and it will be replaced with Deborah for the 2029 Eastern Pacific hurricane season. So Dora has been retired, and Otis replaced with Deborah and Otilio, respectively. So guys, that is the update in terms of last year and the 2024 season lies on the horizon. It will begin very, very soon. And of course, my channel is here to keep you posted as per usual. So that's it for this update. I really hope you found it to be informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.